Again, incredible. Look at this. The results are fantastic. Leonardo AI just came out with one of the most explosive and requested updates. This is incredible. And today I'm going to show you how amazing this is. You can now generate words and text in Leonardo AI. And to be honest, it's done a perfect job every time I've used it. Just take a look at some of these awesome examples I was able to do today. The new feature is called Phoenix, and today I'm gonna show you exactly how to use it, as well as some awesome prompts you'll definitely wanna use. To start, we're gonna head over to my Leonardo AI Ultimate Prompts database. Click the links in the description. Now, if you have access to these databases, I wanna show you two important updates. Now, this one you see right here is gonna be my ChatGPT Mega Prompts database. One of the very important updates I've just recently added is up here in the very top, I've added two new tabs. One is for free pick, where I'm adding prompts that are gonna be specific specifically used for free pick, but now one of my newest ones is going to be this tab that's called Video AI. Now with these new releases for Luma AI and even Leonardo AI Motion, these are going to contain amazing prompts that will generate amazing videos. But then for this database over here, this is going to be my Leonardo AI Ultimate Database. The reason why this is so important is because I've been adding more and more prompts every single day, especially because Leonardo AI just continues to give us awesome update after awesome update. Now, back in this database, this is so unique because if I expand any single prompt, I actually get the actual images that were created with a specific prompt. I can just open any of these up, select this blue download button, and now I can download any image and then use it as a style or a character reference. It also has the full prompt in addition to the fine-tuned model used, the preset, and then any tags. But that's not the new thing I want to show you. The new thing I want to show you for this database is up here at the top, I have a new tab called new motion. These are going to be exactly what they say. These are going to be prompts that are going to be used in Leonardo specifically for motion. I can press the play button and I can actually watch the actual video itself. Now, since Leonardo can now generate text over here on the left hand side, I now have a new view that's called words and text. And then quickly, just to show you a few amazing examples, like I said, it's hit a home run every single time I've used it. Now the update again, it's called Phoenix. Look at these images I was able to make. The word Phoenix is spelled perfectly. I even did a movie poster where I said use the word the end is near and every single image got it flawlessly. You can generate some amazing looking logos and then I just used the word mule. I couldn't be happier with the way these turned out. Look how amazing that this looks with the text, the gradient colors, and then even that powerful mule. Awesome job. You can also get thousands of prompts to use over here on my website. I'm going to type in just the word logo, okay? Because I know I have a blog post about images being generated for logos with words. And the cool thing about this is on this page, there is actually a very awesome prompt generator that you could use. And it says Dolly prompt generator, neon lion, plug it in the chat GPT, and then just give it the word you want to use, the subject, and then the style. You're going to get amazing prompts that will have an actual word in them that you could use in Leonardo AI. The only tool or the only app that you could use used to generate accurate text and words was Dali. However, now that game is completely changed because in my opinion, Leonardo AI now does the best job generating images with words. All right, so we're back over here in Leonardo AI and let me just show you exactly how to find this. It's very easy. Now, the first thing you have to do, if I'm back over here on the homepage, all you have to do is now on the left-hand side, just select image generation, just like you normally would. And here's where you find it. Up in the top left-hand corner, it's gonna be underneath the presets, click this button, it expands, and then here it is. It's the very first option called Leonardo Phoenix. Now, once I have this selected, that's simply all you have to do, okay? If you have any other options on the left-hand side that you want to select, go ahead. I like to select dynamic. I'm going to leave my generation mode on fast. That way it uses less tokens. So right now I'm using Phoenix, dynamic, exit out of here. Now look how simple this is. Now for this first one, I'm going to head over here to this database and let me expand this logo go here. Let's see if I can get this same exact thing and how good of a job Leonardo AI does. Here's the first one to compare, Mule SEO. Now let's go over to Leonardo and then just paste in the same exact prompt. Let's just go in real time to see how good of a job it can do. I'm going to come back over here and then let's try a few more. I like the way this Apple one looks. This looks fantastic.
plastic. Okay, same thing. I'm going to copy this one right here. And then let's also choose this one here with the word Vikings. So we're going to have three to try. I'll plug all of these in to Leonardo AI. So then let's go over there and see how good of a job it actually did. But first, before we go to Leonardo, let me first show you this prompt generator over here because I want to show you how to really use this in real time. That way you can take full advantage of it. So on this page, again, I'll put a link in my description. Go ahead and copy this whole entire prompt right here. Okay. Once you have it copied, now just simply head over to chat GPT, any LLM that you want to use, plug this in. Okay. Here's the full prompt. Now, right down here at the bottom, this is where you have to enter the things that you wanted to say. I'll just put in a few words. Let's see how good of a job it can do with a full word. The future is bright. And then here are the full details. The words, the future is bright, subject, movie poster, and then style, cinematic, hyper-realistic. Now go ahead and select send. Now look at these sort of prompts you're going to get. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Not exactly what I was looking for. It did actually generate the image. I think it got confused, but the image looks good. But nonetheless, let's do this. So I'm going to change this up a little bit. If this happens to you, just come down here at the bottom and say, do not generate any images. Just provide me with the prompts, please. Now this should actually solve this problem. Okay. Here is a detailed prompt for Dolly 3 based on your guidelines. Okay. Now this is what I was looking for. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and copy this whole entire thing. I've never tried this one yet, but let's head over to Leonardo AI. But first, let's look at the images I just created. Now, remember, we chose three. It got it perfect. I only see a couple of mistakes, but again, not bad. Look at this right here. Mule SEO. That's an amazing looking mule. This is cool too. The text is right. This is the only one where it got the text a little bit wrong, misspelled, but cool. Nonetheless, three out of four, 75% is a good job. Vikings, look at these logos right here. Again, the word is spelled perfectly on each image until we get to the last one. It has two eyes. Again, three out of four, not bad. But then this very first one up here, also almost got it right. Three out of four as well with this Apple logo. Now this did a phenomenal job. Text spelled well, except for this very last one. But again, I can't tell you enough of how impressed I am with this accuracy. Now with that said, let's go ahead and now copy the full prompt in with the one we just used in chat GPT with the prompt generator. Here's the full prompt, select to generate. But before I do that, I need to change up my preset to cinematic because in here, my specific adjectives are cinematic and hyper realistic. Okay. So make sure you change your presets to match this up. Now I'm going to select quality this time. And now let's go ahead and now select generate. Once these are done, we'll come back and see how good of a job it did. But I think you're going to be very impressed. Okay. And then, wow, look how amazing this is. All four images, I think, got it exactly right. Let's go over each one of these. Okay, let's open this up. Remember, it's a movie poster. The future is bright is in here, not once, but twice. Wow, impressive. Let's go on to the next one. The future is bright. Again, incredible. Look at this. The results are fantastic. And I'm more impressed than I was when I first tried this. So amazing results. I think this is going to be a huge game changer. Kudos to Leonardo AI. They really hit this one out of the park. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Have you tried this yet? If you have, I would love to see some of your own creations. So let me know in the comments. But thank you so much for watching this video. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. Until then, we'll see you next time.